For all you brainiacs out there, what's the cube root of 658,503? 87. Can't keep up? Meet the human calculator. I tell kids that I'm not an athlete, that I'm a mathlete. This guy can add, subtract, multiply, and divide faster than any person on Earth. How does he do it? We put the human calculator to the test. 612646607147487828168508 and reveal what's going on in the head of this world class numbers cruncher. That calculator is a crutch to her, and we're gonna get that rid of it today. Oh. What do these exceptional human beings know that we don't? Now, people who push human limits get their limits pushed in the ultimate test chamber. We'll watch them in action, monitor their bodies, and examine the stories that make them more than human. And the human calculator takes on the accountant. 34, 68, 102, 13. This guy's faster at math than anyone else in the world. My mind is very laser-like. And we're gonna find out why. 5,472. You have to be kidding me. Well, watch this guy. He can figure it out. They call him... 38, 38, 4, 4, 8, 0, 5, 7, 6. The human calculator. When you say 36, and I just start adding 36 plus 36 plus 36, there's obviously just a simple arithmetic there. But I get going so fast that not only to hear the numbers I'm saying, but to be ready for the next one and to be thinking about the one after that. Scott Flansburg calculates math in his head quicker than anyone on Earth. He demonstrates his world record skill in classrooms across the country, spreading the gospel of math. All right. Kids create such an enthusiasm and it's contagious. These are math skills that we often associate with certain autistic people. But Scott is not autistic. He's just an ordinary guy who discovered that he was a math whiz. For me, it's pure excitement and joy. What is behind this talent? We brought him to our tech facility to find out. It's time to test just how he does all this. Let's see how fast he can add up four three-digit numbers. 789. Plus. Plus 145. Plus. Plus 653. And uh, how about one more? Plus, how about 358? 1945. God, I couldn't even hit equals quick. <laughs> I saw you reaching in there. Uh, cool. Uh, but let's do something harder, like long division. Can you do a three digit number divided by a one digit number and use weird numbers and stuff. Okay. 956. Uh -huh. Divide it by seven. 136.57142857. Whoa! Have you ever seen anything like that? I know I haven't. 136.57142857. He divided that out seven places in the amount of time it took to read the number. What do we gotta do to stump this guy? How about doing it backwards? Jeopardy style. A multiply a number by itself twice, give him the answer, and see if he can tell me the number I started with. Okay, just read off the digits. Oh, by the way, the number I'm starting with is 87. Okay, the digits are 658,503. 87. Before your very eyes, Scott just calculated the cube root of 658,503. Try that on your own. So that's easy stuff. Now we're warmed up, okay? So, uh... <laughs> that's the easy stuff? <laughs> okay. Since we can't keep up with them, we'll bring in a professional. Yeah. It's... Anne-Marie Hureggi is a CPA with blazing speed on the adding machine. We're gonna do 15 seconds. You're gonna add two-digit numbers. So you're gonna do, let's say, 28 plus 28 plus 28 plus 28 plus 28. After 15 seconds, we're gonna see who's ahead. Scott will attempt to add numbers in his head faster than Ann can use her adding machine. This is the ultimate man versus machine challenge, and Scott is ready to rumble. That calculator is a crutch to her, and we're gonna get rid of that oh. today. It's, it's just a dependence thing, that's all. Back, it's all dependence. Back. <laughs> you can take it right now. I can take it. What did she say? I can take it. I I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I can take it. Are you sure? Okay. I'm ready. Think of a two-digit number. 
34. 1090 is where I was going to be. Where are you at? I'm at 1574 because you made me nervous. 1574. She beats him, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> Sounds like you did a 340 something in there. I did a 343. There you go. Yeah. That happens, right? The human calculator instantly realizes not only did she type in the wrong number, he knows what number it is. Yeah, she wasn't even close. I, I beat her by a lot. It's hard because you got to get that plus sign in there as fast yeah. as possible, right? That's why a calculator, not only you don't really know what you're doing when you're on there, and the fingers get in the way sometimes. Okay. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I have not. Scott has easily beaten a professional number cruncher. Our testing has shown that Scott's amazing abilities are real. This is not a trick. Scott is able to perform complex calculations in his head faster than an adding machine. But how does he do it? And more importantly, can he teach us to balance our checkbook? What gives the human calculator his supercomputer ability? I, I don't practice. I don't uh, sit there and memorize anything. Our investigation will uncover the clues to his amazing skill. Scott Flansberg is a human calculator. He can solve math problems in his head faster than any other human being. 68, 102, 136. How does he do this? There's only one thing left to do. Tear his brain apart. Don't worry, it won't hurt him. We brought Scott to one of the top researchers in neuroscience, Dr. Barry Sturman, to determine if there's something special about how Scott's brain works that while he's doing math. Have you had any doctors uh, give you any theories on tell you what they think is the reason you can do this? Zero, Nothing? None. Uh, Our test, an EEG, or electroencephalogram, will reveal brain activity in specific areas of Scott's cerebral lobes. I'm not worried about it at all. It's good, good. You ready? Yes. All right, 73. For this test, Scott must do the math in his head and not out loud. What did Dr. Sturman find? He sees relationships between numbers in, in a very unique way that gives him a tool that's very powerful. So how does Scott's brain do it? He has a capability of shutting out the outside world. When he goes into this processing that he does, uh, he is totally unaware of anything else around him. It's as if what some people call a trance. But he's obviously very alert with his eyes closed. This is best illustrated in the results of the EEG, where the large red zones show the areas that are shut down, and the dark blue areas indicate higher brain activity. In this case, in the memory lobe. It's just not the way most of us use our brains. All of which means that Scott has a remarkable, more-than-human brain that works like none other.